White House report that says global warming threatens every part of the U.S. This isn't something in the distant future. Climate change is already affecting us now. I have no doubt that the fundamental source of all our problems, particularly our environmental problems, the population. Climate change, the consensus. Climate change is real. Climate change is caused by human activity. Climate change is already causing devastating problems. As a UN messenger of peace, I've traveled all over the world for the last two years. I've seen cities like Beijing choked by industrial pollution, ancient boreal forests in Canada, that have been clear-cut and rainforest Indonesia that have been incinerated. In India, I met farmers whose crops have been literally washed away. In America, I have witnessed sea level rise flooding the streets of Miami. In Greenland and in the Arctic, I was astonished to see that ancient glaciers are rapidly disappearing well ahead of scientific predictions. All that I have seen and learned on my journey has absolutely terrified me. There's that Gallup poll that came out last month, which found one in four Americans is skeptical of all the effects of climate change and thinks this issue's been exaggerated. Who gives a shit? That doesn't matter. You don't need people's opinions on a fact. You, you might as well have a poll asking which number is bigger, 15 or 5? Or do owls exist? Or are there hats? The, the debate on climate change should not be whether or not it, it exists, it's what we should do about it. There is a mountain of research on this topic. Global temperatures are rising, heat waves are becoming more common, sea surface temperatures are also rising, glaciers are melting, and of course no climate report is complete without the obligatory photo of a polar bear balancing on a piece of ice. The absolute, absolute consensus is that, that human action is leading to an increase in average temperatures. Absolute consensus. It, 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 I can't, I, I know you may try to argue with that, but you can't. A survey of thousands of scientific papers uh, that took a position on climate change found that 97% endorsed the position that humans are causing global warming. First of all, that the data has been corrupted, and we know that the 1930s well, you mean were like corrupted. Corrupted. Yeah. corrupted, what do you mean corrupted? Been manipulated. Yeah. And, By and, by NASA? NASA. The only accurate way to report that one out of four Americans are skeptical of global warming is to say a poll finds that one out of four Americans are wrong about something. I'm... <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> uh, I don't... I don't care what you believe. You believe whatever you want. The problem comes about is if you are in denial of an emergent scientific truth and you wield power over legislation. That's a recipe for disaster. The person on the street doesn't care about climate change or doesn't, you know, maybe I will have a conversation, but I'm not gonna lose sleep over that. It's when someone, an elected official, stands in denial of climate change, something that scientists have been telling them now for decades, and they're gonna create legislation in response to that. What, that is the end of an informed democracy. Do we have the political institutions and the political will and the organization globally to respond to this challenge? And that worries me immensely. I don't think we do at the moment. Now think about the shame that each of us will carry when our children and grandchildren look back and realize that we had the means of stopping this devastation, but simply lack the political will to do so. And I think I know why people still think this issue is open to debate because on TV it is and it's always one person for one person against. Good evening joining me tonight a climate change denier and naturally Bill Nye science guy. Uh, so, Bill. Bill. John? Yep. Humans are causing climate change. No wait, question. Wait, 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 wait. Before we begin, on, in the interest of mathematical balance, I'm going to bring out two people who agree with you, climate skeptic. And Bill Nye, I'm also going to bring out 96 other scientists. Uh, it's a little unwieldy, but this is the only way you can actually have a representative discussion. Uh, so, yeah, please, 
please file in. Again, again, this is this is going to make the debate difficult. We shouldn't really be having it in the first place. But uh, so, representationally, climate skeptic, please make a case against climate change. Well, I just don't think all the science is in yet. It's subtle. Okay, and what is the overwhelming view of the entire scientific community? Okay, okay. Any response to that? Any response? I, 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 can't, I can't hear you over the weight of scientific evidence. This, this whole debate should not have happened. I apologise to everyone at home. My thanks to Bill Nye and the overwhelming scientific consensus. After 21 years of debates and conferences, it is time to declare no more talk, no more excuses, no more 10-year studies, no more allowing the fossil fuel companies to manipulate and dictate the science and policies that affect our future. The world is now watching. You will either be lauded by future generations or vilified by them. You are the last best hope of Earth. We ask you to protect it. Are we and all living things we cherish our history? repeatedly asked, don't you want to leave a better Earth for your grandchildren? And we've all collectively responded, eh, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs>